All right, you're not gonna believe this, but right down there, that is the entrance to an apartment. Would you walk down these stairs to get to your apartment? dead the streets looked outside because it's the morning. The rental market is doing something that it hasn't done in a long time. It's starting to pick up and get busy. In fact, landlords that had rock bottom prices just a couple of months ago, they're starting to raise their rents to try and take advantage of this new activity. But because inventory levels remain high, there are still places on the market that are lower now than they were in 2020 and in 2019. And we're actually gonna go and see a couple of those with a special guest who has their own YouTube channel. How you doing? I owe you pisco and ceviche. I Don't hate worry. being late. Well, I'm here with Daniela and Fatima. We're going to see some apartments for their YouTube channel, and I'll put a link to that in the video description. Could you live in an apartment like this? Yes, amigo. It's perfect. The kitchen is half all the things we need. So we're gonna okay. measure 10 feet, four inches, 10 feet, eight inches. That's the living room. So the bedroom is a perfect square. Oh. Eight feet, 11 inches by eight feet, 11 inches. So they're recording their video, but look what I just noticed. This small heater. That's a heater? Yeah, that's a heater. I didn't know. Here in a recent video, I just feel bad only showing like really run down East Village apartments. So we came back to this one because it's like the nicest newly renovated thing in the neighborhood. If you want to see more of this place, I'll put that video in the description. You can get the measurements and everything. Great three bedroom. So you were telling me you were cooking for seven people in your last apartment? For six, for six. We for six? six Could you have done that with this kitchen? No, impossible, <laughs> impossible. That size of kitchen would have finished our friendship with our roommates. <laughs> like, like this is the only bathroom in the whole apartment? Yeah, this is the only bathroom. Mm. In Peru, if there was this much graffiti outside the apartment, it would be dangerous, right? Yes, you yeah. would be scared a little bit. <laughs> Here it costs more money. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, this makes it more expensive. It's like a street art. So, this is it? This is the whole thing. Oh, but it comes with this. Yeah, and you get a window that faces the street. Most of the apartments in here go for like $1,000. This one's like $1,200, so it's a slight amount more, but that's only because it faces the street. Actually, I'm surprised because like, if this is to start your life in the city, I think yeah. it's amazing. So this one's seven feet, 11 inches by 13 feet, nine inches. Over here, you've got the kitchen and some storage. Here, eating outside, it's very expensive. So this would increase your spend every month. I'll show you guys the bathroom. Oh, it looks like the thing that comes inside of the bus. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now, I actually had a whole bunch of places that we could have seen. These were the three that I picked. There's this one place nearby here, which is like totally weird. It might have been a little too weird for their video. You're not gonna believe this, but right down there, that is the entrance to an apartment. And 
what's kind of crazy is in the past, a bunch of students, I think they went to NYU, they rented this out and there were like eight people living in here. And these are probably their ketchup packets. This apartment has a door and you get a massive private yard. From that concrete wall, all this space is yours. You could have all kinds of stuff out here. Maybe like a garden or something in this corner. And then over here, you could have like a grill and some seating. These are the windows on the next door building, a little bit creepy for sure. And then there's this alleyway here that leads back to the stairs. The last people that rented this place filled that up with their junk. You can also see the tops of all the other buildings surrounding it. I think stuff like this is neat. The layout here is definitely what I would describe as unique after you walk in. One of the bedrooms is down there, then you've got the kitchen. It's a long space. It's 22 feet long by eight feet wide, I just measured. You could put stools under this breakfast bar. You could mount the TV on that wall and then put a couch along this wall. I think that's the best setup. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to walk through the room. You've got a full-size fridge. The stove actually looks new. It's not really that wide though. If you're a wide person, maybe this isn't gonna work out. And look at this, there's also a sink sprayer. Right there, that counts. Here's the first bedroom. No real surprises here, but it is big. In fact, this space is 8 feet 9 inches by 10 feet 7 inches. The view is facing the backyard area. And you could definitely get a queen size bed in here, no problem. Closet's also big, plus you've got overhead storage. And if you put the bed here, other storage or a desk, you should easily be able to fit in this corner right here. That's not a bad bedroom, and we kind of saw the other one all the way over here, but it's actually a little bit better. This room is 15 feet 11 inches by 7 feet 8 inches, and it kind of sucks that that door is not like over there because then it would have been a straight shot. For that reason, I'm thinking that your bed should go here because if your bed's here and you use that for storage and possibly a home office, you'll be able to get to your closet, which is pretty big and get back outside if that's what you want. Let's check out the bathroom. It's a pretty big bathroom, but the color might not be for everyone. Emerald green tub, emerald green tile. You've got cool light bulbs and a medicine cabinet. And look at that, there's even a little window above the tub. I'm hopeful that once this place gets cleaned up, it looks really good. Maybe they could change the light bulbs, get some brighter ones. In a perfect world, I'd have them just remove this bar, but that's probably not gonna happen. Back here at the office and there's not a lot going on. Barely anyone came in because it was pouring and it looks like things are not really that great out today. Yeah, the rain's not gonna let up and I really don't wanna sit there and edit this video. Thank you for hanging out today. I will see you in the next one.